Hello my little suction lovers. Well I've got a lovely lovely Miele to unbox today. A Miele C2 Powerline Cat and Dog. And because, like the Boy Scouts say, always be prepared, I bought a spare box of bags because Miele only provide one bag with their vacuums. They used to provide you a spare, but no. Times are hard at the Miele factory and uh, you only get one. So I bought uh, another box where you get four and two filters. Now, there is a reason why I bought this. One, because, well, at the time of making this video, it is nearly my birthday and I deserved a treat. And I don't often get the chance to unbox a lovely new vacuum, so I thought I'd treat myself. Um, and another reason, for those of you who may not know, now I'm making this video in June 2017. Don't know when you'll see it, but in September 2017, despite the fact that the UK voted to leave the EU, there's going to be another vacuum change, another restriction on the maximum wattage allowable for vacuum cleaners sold in the EU. So because we're still in the EU, it's still going to affect the UK. So the maximum allowable wattage will be 900 watts. I think it's 1600 at the moment. This is, a, I believe, a 1200 watt motor. So by September, they'll still be able to sell this model in the shops, but they won't be able to manufacture and distribute it in the EU, including Great Britain. So because this is a turbo head cleaner and it needs a bit of extra oomph, I thought I'd get one now. So if you want one, I'll upload this fairly quickly. I'd, if you want a, a higher powered Miele, um, I think they do up to 1600 watts, some models, the power line models, get one before September, because some people will try and cash in like they did the last time the wattages were capped and they'll try and cash in and sell you higher wattage machines. But we've not seen filthy carpets since the first cap, but um, a lot of machines are already under the 900 watts, so in fact there are some 700 watt Miele vacuums now, but I don't think they'll be very good for powering a turbo head, that's what I'm thinking. Right, here's the tools. Now this one is a bit different. I did unbox one of these quite a long time ago. It was an early unboxing. This one has got the new handle, this extra long handle, which is quite good. You can use it without stooping and bending when you're cleaning your upholstery and things. But it's also got this storage slot. So it has this storage system, which I'll show you. It's also got a newly redesigned suction control there for allowing air into the hose to reduce the suction, but there is electronic speed control as well. We've got the hose, again, it's a bit short, shorter than SIBO hoses, but it's a, a good quality hose. That obviously is the end that attaches to the machine, and then we've got this end, which I need to click into place, into the handle, nice seal there, airtight, so that clicks in and it swivels as well so it shouldn't get tangled up. If you want to release it, if there's a blockage, unlikely event of a blockage, you just press the two little tabs and you can release it. From the hose, metal telescopic tube, press the button, adjust to whatever height you want, release the button and it locks in position. This is the little tool caddy. Tools aren't stored on board on this one you attach them to the hose. You can either have this little caddy um, at the base of the hose near the machine or it will attach near the handle. So it's a pretty uh, standard setup. You've got your short crevice tool for your nooks and crannies. You've got a furniture nozzle, so also you can use for your curtains and stairs, litter pickers, and you've got a dusting brush. This is the more quality dusting brush. The cheaper mealers have a synthetic bristle brush. This is a natural bristle brush there, so and that's adjustable, you can angle it. Quite small the tools, but they're adequate for most people. This is your standard floor head, they've gone to a plastic base. This is the Miele All Tech, that's for basic carpets and hard floors. Um, but this comes with a turbo nozzle, but you can use this for your carpets with the brush up. If you want to clean your hard floors, you've got your foot pedal you press that down, 
the brushes come down at the front and back and you can use that on your hard flooring. You can buy any number of different attachments for Miele cleaners as well. If you've got delicate floors you can get parquet heads, parquet twister heads etc. So this is the turbo head. Where's my little cutter? So this is the cat and dog version. There are other versions of this machine. This I think is the most popular Certainly in the UK, we're a nation of um, animal lovers, supposedly in the UK, cat and dog owners. So really, you need a machine. It's best to have a power head, but they're not uh, common in the UK. But this is an air-powered turbo nozzle that is driven by the suction of the vacuum, which is why I wanted to get it now, in case the lower wattage mealers can't drive the turbo head as effectively. But it also has an adjustment here that allows air into the head for doing certain piles of carpets you might need to open that so the brush stays spinning because it can slow down on some carpets by opening that it keeps the air flowing through to the turbine so it should keep the brush spinning at a high speed so that's what that's for it all fits on with a nice click fitting and to release you press the little button there there's a separate little instruction book for the turbo brush and of course you've got instructions for the machine itself let's quickly look at the EU energy label it gets a D rating for energy use that's the least thing you have to worry about it just means it's a higher wattage an A would be like the 700 watt machines but this is a 1200 watt so it gets a D it's not going to make a huge dent in your electric bill anyway it uses 45.9 kilowatt hours per annum on average. It gets a B rating for dust emissions. That's quite high from A to G, it's a B. It gets a C for dust pickup from carpet, a B for dust pickup from hard floors, and it's 74 decibels. I'm not sure whether that includes the noise of the turbo head. I doubt it, because the turbo head tends to add to the noise level of a vacuum. If you want to buy the mini turbo head, that's separate. You can buy the smaller version for doing your upholstery and pet bedding and things. Here's the machine itself. So it's the compact version. They do C1, C2 and C3. The C1 are the entry level machines. And then the C3 are the full sized mealers that have the tools built in. Plus they have a few other features. But this is ideal if you want a lighter, smaller, more compact vacuum cleaner. Still, Miele's build quality is there. I believe these ones are made in Germany. I do understand that some of the entry-level Miele's may be assembled in China, but with German parts. This one, though, is made in Germany. So here's the bottom. You've got three very smooth running quality swivel casters. I mean, you can hardly hear them, listen. Unlike some machines where when you go like that, there's a horrible plastic scraping noise, but they are very well engineered. So it's a very tough textured underside. You've got a parking slot one side and the other side, but it's a storage slot. I'll show you how that works. There's a parking slot on the back of the cleaner here. And that's used when you want to pause your vacuuming. So you can use it with the turbo head and also the Alltech floor head. Obviously that's where you click in the wand and then you can have the hose attached. And when you want to clean, you just lift it off and use your machine like that. Naturally, oh, I've got bits, I'll have to vacuum those up. You've got automatic cord rewind and you've got Miele's comfort system, which basically means you only have to press that once and the cord will rewind. You don't have to keep your hand or your foot on the pedal. So you pull out the cord. I suggest, unless you're only going to vacuum for a couple of minutes, I would always suggest pulling out the cord to its fullest extent because a coiled vacuum cleaner cord can, can start to heat up as electrical current passes through it. So to rewind the cord, you just press comf the comfort rewind once. Now it's obviously stopped because it's a bit coiled up, but in normal use, it will go straight in. You've got foot operated on off switch this side and here you've got adjustable speed control from the maximum for your hard floors 
slightly lower suction for fitted carpets. The symbol there with the ear is your silence setting, that's for general cleaning at a lower noise level. Then you've got a setting for cleaning your rugs, then a lower power for your upholstery and minimum for more delicate fabrics such as curtains. You've got little bag check indicator, let's try and hold it out of the reflection. Bag check indicator there. And to access the bag, there is a little catch here, so that opens up. This has got the Miele Time Strip filter. Now this filter rattles because it's got charcoal pieces in it. They are supposed to reduce odours emitting from the machine because if you're a cat and dog owner you probably realise that their hairs can start to smell, especially if they've got an oil coating on the hairs, they can start to smell and it makes the machine smell and the exhaust air smell. So the carbon in there is supposed to reduce the odours emitting from the cleaner. But it's got the time strip, you need to remove that little piece. And then it does, it is supposed to show you when it needs replacing on average once a year really, unless you use the machine a lot, you need to replace that for maximum efficiency. So it filters the air, but it also reduces the odours coming out of the machine, so that clicks securely into there. Here's the bag, so it takes FJM style bags. They seal the minute you open up the um, bag door. To remove them, just pull them. That goes in the bin. These are the new high clean bags. They are a fairly small capacity, but you can fill them until they are very full before you notice really any reduction in suction. It's not like the old-fashioned paper bags. These new cloth type bags do allow the air to flow through them much better. So they maintain the suction power. Behind that we have got a pre-motor filter. That just fits just directly in front of the motor behind the red grill. There's something that seems different about it. I can't recall. It just seems a little bit different. This it's a while since I had my first version of this, so uh, they might have changed it, I'm not sure. That just fits in there, make sure it's uh, tucked well in, close it up. So that's basically what I need to show you. The hose fits into the front there, you just line up, there's a little line just there. Corresponds with a line on the machine, so just line that up, line the line up, push it until it clicks. That's clipped firmly into place, so it swivels this end as well, so you can obviously pull the machine along. And this is where you can attach the tools. How does they go? Let's see, they go on that way, I think. I won't push it fully home because once they once it's pushed home, they are fairly secure, but you can remove them. So it's up to you. You can have the tools down here. Or if you don't want to do any bending, you can actually clip them to the handle, just near the handle, at the back. Hang on, let's get it in the right way. I want to show you. Hang on, what am I doing? That's it, that's the way it goes on. There we are, so that's clipped in place. So they're there. It's not as convenient or as neat it's convenient, I suppose, having them there, but it's not as neat as having them built in. If you want the tools inside the machine, you have to go for the C3 model, which is slightly larger. But that's not a bad compromise. At least it's three individual tools, unlike some machines that have these multi-tools that aren't very good. This does have at least the three separate cleaning tools. And then, of course, you can just click your hose and your, sorry, click your tube into your hose. Like that until it clicks and then you're ready to start cleaning. To store the machine, if you've got to, if you're tight for storage space, what you can do is condense down the telescopic tube. Now I've never done this so I'm just going to uh, hopefully do it properly for you. You can do it either side. So anyway, whatever nozzle you've got attached, whether it be the turbo nozzle or the Ultec nozzle, you can have it still attached to the tube and then you are supposed to be able to coil 
the hose around. I'll just move my camera up so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. So you coil the hose around like that. And then this little piece here, just there, should slot into the other side. So there, that's roughly how it should be. So that's how it can sit in your cupboard. You could make it neater if you want to. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't be bothered, but anyway, it holds it all together. It also makes it easy to take out of your cupboard. You can actually carry it up the stairs or wherever like that. It is pretty light, even with all the bits attached. And that is having the uh, turbo nozzle attached. It's quite light. So when you want to use it, you just remove the hose, uncoil it from around the tube, remove the tube from the machine, click it into the handle, adjust it for height, and obviously you have to pull out the cord, and uh, Bob's your uncle, right? I'll give it a very quick go, there's a few little bits on this carpet, but I'll be doing a full demonstration of this very soon on my channel. Before I try it with a turbo head, we'll just turn the machine on and judge the noise level. It's on minimum to start with. So, yeah, that's pretty powerful. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Miele Compact C2 Cat and Dog Power Line. If you have any questions about this vacuum cleaner, please ask in the comments section below. Please thumb up this video if you liked it and please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video, which will include the full demo of this model. So until the next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.